everyone aiming for more dead cells. We've got this run going on with our giant sword that feels really cool. That we haven't actually used it. And our electric whip. One grenade. We don't have, don't have a second skill or a, uh, I don't know, a trinket, a amulet yet. Stat-wise, we're doing okay. I think we're missing some health. I want a health upgrade. I think that's where we were. Yeah, we have no health upgrade, but we're at four strength. All right, we've been to the ramparts before. They weren't too bad. We can handle it. All right, real, real slow. But lots of damage. I'll just let you guys burn for a little bit while I take care of these dudes. Efficiency. Why is there poison? Uh, enemy release a toxic cloud when they die. That's why there's poison. Got it. Oh, on the right. Runes. Okay, so there's a lot more runes to get. Got that one. We have the vine rune. Come over here. Oh, you can see me through the doors. That, okay. This is obnoxious. Oh, that, that actually reached them with the stun. Good. I'm not sure when I ever get the full combo off, because it is very slow. It does lots of damage, but it's incredibly slow. I, I, might, I might prefer a faster weapon, actually. Feels pretty good to use. But I can imagine, especially if you don't have good strength, so then you're not killing enemies in one to two hits, this could be, like, just real terrible. Extra skill power. We only have one skill, so I'm not, like, super impressed with that. Oh, I didn't want to come all the way down here. Okay. I'll let you... Yeah, I yeah, just died of poison. Okay. Also, like a... Uh, we can dodge roll and not try to jump over things. Pretty sure dodge roll is more reliable. Five minutes ago. Alright. This is, we weren't too fast. We weren't too close then. I imagine in the future, once we're a lot more comfortable with the game, we're going to be breezing through it. Especially when we don't have to worry about killing dudes for dead cells to get unlocks. They can probably just breeze right through. Get those time doors. Get whatever loot they have. Maybe new items or upgrades. Which will then help us get... Complete the run, however, whatever that looks like. And I was thinking, so we're not gonna be doing so. This isn't rotated with anything right now. And I think we might keep it that way at least initially. The idea being that that lets us a maintain uh, more of a skill level with the game. We're not, oh, oh, oh geez. we're not cycling through. We're just playing the one game to burn. Look at that! Look at that damage over time. I rolled this some shenanigans. Give me my elf back. I don't want to be in danger of getting one shot right now. Okay. Throw the fire grenade. These dudes, like, attack really far. Okay. Yeah, we're not ro rotating. I do have new stuff. We have more stuff on the docket to come up. But I think we at least want to get um, some healthy progress made in Dead Cells. Get comfortable with the game. And for now, we'll just keep it in its uh, own little private slot. Ooh, I don't like the amount of damage taken. Glad we got the HP upgrade, though. I, I, I got stunned from the fall. That is the kind of... Whew. Okay, we're alright though. That's the kind of thing I was talking about with the speed. We got horribly punished for that swing. Because this is a very slow weapon. I am rolling way too late. Alright, calm down. It's alright. It's alright, we got this. We got this, we're alright. Luckily, there's a drumstick right here. And also the game Fire Grenade 3. We have Fire Grenade 3 and Fire Grenade 2. We have our healing. We got our, our drumstick. Luckily the broadsword seems to hit things slightly behind you because we keep turning around swinging the wrong way. Is that regular Grenade 4? We can take that over Fire Grenade 2. That's a lot more damage immediately. Yeah. That's the wrong button. That button. Although having two fire grenades seems kind of cool, but then I doubt it sets them on fire twice as much. That seems wrong. So we're at full HP right now. We just need to keep it that way, because we don't have any healing upgrades yet. Which are really expensive. So uh, it might be a while before we even get any. Now we, just say, uh, we only have 17 cells right now. Was there not a teleporter down there, or did I just run past the teleporter and manually walk all the way up here? That seems like a silly thing to do. 
What is this? A blue infantry bell blueprint. All right. Cool. I don't know what it does, but there's a blueprint. Some more item unlocks. We can buy it. That is a lot of flying dudes. I was so tracked by flying dudes. I didn't even see didn't even see that guy. This door is blocked. All right, whip him, whip him, whip him, whip him. Roll through that guy. Smack that guy. Roll again. More whips. Excellent. Okay. Ugh. The grenade actually one shots him. So never mind. We're we're not in danger at all. Except when I miss. But that's what the whip's for. Okay. Go up here. I missed horribly. If we get right here, bam. Beautiful. Alright, that was not nearly as dangerous as I was as I was concerned about. That opens that door up there. We just die. these shield I don't know why I have a problem with these shield guys. The shield guys give me so much trouble. That was weird. I got like blocked there for a second, and then I just let him hit me again. Get her HP back. I don't know why we're having trouble with the shield. I feel like the shield dudes are on the easy side of the spectrum. They're giving us a lot of trouble. Which is really, you know, problematic when we don't have healing. I'll just let him, I'll just let him burn. Yeah, let's not... We gotta play the game like big old babies. He did not die as I rolled into him. Also, those flying dudes go through walls. Good to know. There's a challenge room. Challenge rooms are scary because we keep getting hit in there, and then not only do we take the damage of getting hit, uh, we don't have an opportunity to hit dudes to get our HP back. I don't think we have the time to go this slow. Takes way too long. Kill all the enemies and make it to the exit in not that much time without getting hit. Okay. There's a lot of enemies over here we missed. Can I not climb back up? No, we can just do this. It'll be fine. Alright. We have 15 seconds left. Dude, you have to be fast. These are some challenging challenge rooms. Because not only do I have to kill everyone, we have to do it in that time limit. I hope I don't take damage for running out of time. If we run out of time, whatever. If we get hit, like, taking damage is rough, but we... Ever out of time. The door has been sealed. We don't take damage though. Alright, that's good. We don't take damage running out of time. We do need to be faster on those challenge rooms. I'll try to be not hit because the last time we did a challenge room we failed because we took damage. I'm trying to avoid that from happening, but there are like a. <laughs> you have to be quick. Which makes sense. Ah, oh, the. Dude, we need a faster weapon. I rolled through that. I do believe I rolled through that arrow. Thank you very much. Okay. Looks like we're not being baby mode. Which I figure is that we just avoid direct conflict and we toss grenades and bail. And let damage over time handle our, our problems. Extra strength, lovely. Where are all the fast weapons? We seem to mostly just get. mostly just get slow weapons, right? Because we've been using the Nutcracker and this giant sword as like our weapons of choice. Kind of inadvertently. Are there any wall chickens? I'd like some wall ham. And if we die, we lose our cells and that blueprint. So if we find a door, I think we just take it. That red screen. Oh, it's like a way to a door. Like I said, we're just gonna cut our losses and take the door. Yeah, the black bridge. That's the boss fight, isn't it? In it? 
Hey, buddy. Talk to me. Blueprint. Inflicts a critical blow when you strike at close range. A bow using at close range, though, seems kind of rough. How many souls do we have? I have 33. We can get a new sword. We already have a decent sword. I don't... Will it give us one relevant to our level? Or not? We do want more unlocked items, though. What are we using right now? The broadsword? Can I upgrade the broadsword damage? Try to kill this boss? It's only 5%. But we're doing a decent amount of damage. On the one hand, this feels kind of bad because it's a small upgrade, but I do want to get past this boss. So I'll actually upgrade our weapon damage. And maybe our skill damage. Do we have a regular grenade upgrade? Do we have a upgrade for regular grenade? You know what? On the one hand, this feels terrible because it's not good from perspective of us, like an overall meta perspective. But for me, trying to kill this one boss right here, um, I feel fine doing it. I'm going to dump three in the healing upgrade, which will happen eventually. Please, please heal me. Give me back my healing. All right, we got an extra 5% damage on all of our skills and weapons. Not all of our weapons, not the electric. The electric slide. Our electric whip. Let's go, let's go. Incomplete one. He's not even complete. We got this. We got this. We will not be doing any combos. <laughs> I will. The combos are not going to work. Trying to get stunned. Stay away from me. Hitting him for like 420 a pop. It's not bad. Don't do that. We're fine though. You know, we'll take a little bit of damage because we were able to hit him afterwards. Pretty good fight so far. Oh, he he does he he jumps he jumps like really far. Ooh. And if he hits us with that again, I think that's gonna one shot us. Oh, roll away, roll away. Drink the healing we have. Okay, we're still alive. We're still alive. That's important. <laughs> that's important. We got to avoid. We got to dodge that jump attack. There we go. Like that. As long as we dodge that jump attack, we'll be okay. I, although I'm getting confused on his. Ooh, okay. There we go. Oh, I rolled the wrong way. Oh, incomplete one. He obviously gets more difficult as the fight goes on. Um, his ground pound and his leap, the telegraph for those, did not adjust to the telegraph in time. I want a faster weapon. The great sword felt pretty good, but it is too slow. I want something I can get in some multiple hits and not worry about locking myself into an attack animation for a million years. Sorry, we'll go back there real fast and we'll just kill him. We'll just, we'll just get this win already. But I would like something like, you know, more of this speed. Skill upgrades, I have no skills. Sorry, we'll be at a point soon enough where we'll be... We'll, we won't even imagine a world in which we couldn't beat the incomplete one. Like, he's the first boss. So easy. How could we have been so bad that we can't even beat him? Give me, give me your cells. Sad, though. I spent, all those, I spent those cells to upgrade our weapon damage to beat him. But then we uh, didn't. Get a nice chunk of money going. I would like to get an item. I'm not comfortable with our, with our loadout, because we just have beginner weapons and no skills. Also, there are teleporters in the game. You just use the teleporters. What am I... What am I doing myself? Just admiring the lighting effects there. There we go. Fire grenade and a lot of cells. Fire grenade two. The curse. You know what? Let's go for it. 
Let's go for a curse. Now, I've angered the gods. You only equip one at a time. Uh, damage taken reduced by 10% is better than nothing. And let's upgrade our damage. Really down for more weapon damage. I figure if we're going to be taking a curse, might as well do it in the first level, right? He got me a shield upgrade. Another strength upgrade. Alright, three strength already feels pretty good. Only three more enemies to kill. After these two, only be one more enemy to kill. And then we're uncursed. Boom, curse removed. Beautiful. Stab grade or a weapon? Drops the bottom when you roll, that seems terrible. Uh, stat, stats, stats all day. Level four strength in the first floor seems pretty good. Oh, looks like I almost just died for a reason. Spartan Sandals. Interrupts attacks. I'm not sure. Well, I mean, probably better than the beginning weapon. But it's also like a melee thing, and if I'm... Maybe if I have... I mean, maybe that's the solution to having like a broadsword. So I have a large, heavy, slow weapon, and I have a quicker attack for interruptions, if necessary. Did for a while now. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's move on. This time we're going to the promenade. Did we go to the promenade last time? We didn't go to the sewers. It must have been to the promenade, right? Shield, we have 13 cells. Let's put it into, what, critical blow when he backstab? We do a lot of rolling around stuff. Let's uh, get a an assassin's dagger. That's probably one a faster weapon, right? And I was complaining about not having fast weapons. Need to keep an eye out for these runes in the walls. I'm not doing a good job. Like when I accidentally find them, like, oh cool, I found a secret. But I feel like they're probably kind of conspicuous, and I'm just not I haven't trained myself to look for them. Why would you run into the spike? I I don't. For some reason, I was thinking it's you know a lot of games have rules where as long as you don't land on the spike, you're welcome to run to land or to walk into them. It's not how this game works. It's actually a decent amount of damage on this kick. Can I, like, spam kicks? No, not at all. Okay. We can, like, initiate with the kick and then finish him off with the sword. Can we interrupt our swings with the kick? Maybe. Looks like it. Eh, that feels pretty good. We're not really throwing our grenade around. Uh, so we go now up here, fall down here, and go over here. Easy peasy. Don't you... Don't, don't, just don't. Just that. I need to teleport him right on top of you there, Nightcrawler, okay? And calm down, vet. Anything down here in this dungeon-looking area? Are there a bunch of traps? So we can teleport back past. Oh, please. Itchy, itchy, get away from me, I'm itching. To kick the flying bug. Hiding in the corner. Generating shields. I don't appreciate that. Money. 140 gold. Not a lot, but 140 more gold than we had before. And here's our chest. Ice grenade. We have fire, fire and ice. I think I prefer the crowd control over the damage. Because I'm mostly using my weapons for damage. I haven't really been wrapping my head around using these grenades as weapons, which sounds weird as killing things. Seems kind of weird. 
But my first instinct is to go slap on my sword or whatever. If I want to kill enemies. So using the weapons, or using the skills more for crowd control seems down. Just, oh, didn't I just talk about I was going to teleport back up and then didn't? Gosh. But yeah, using the weapons as more crowd control feels a little more natural to me. Just, just that. Would, would be a good time for a health upgrade, I feel now. Feeling a little vulnerable. Do we make it? Three minutes ago. Ah. You gotta, yeah, like gun it, make this, some of these these speedrun doors. Unsurprisingly, cannot set the water on fire. Dude, where was the dude? This shield has to go. All right, all right, let's back off. Sixty HP is not that much. I don't think it's quite enough to justify dropping a heal, though. There is an elite. Dude, roll. What are you? What are you doing? Not rolling. All right, all right, all right. I think I don't. I'm not sure if I can. Oh, I'll say I'm not sure about time because I'm pretty sure he teleports. Just fine. Frost blast. I do like the crowd control a lot over the kick. Freezing enemies and then just going wailing on them. I like how that feels. A new ice grenade. It's not that expensive. I think I'd rather save the money. Okay, duck. Yeah. Yeah, try that again. Jerk. That was, that was bad. We're alright though. Luckily it was a, an enemy that doesn't just slap us. Why are they bleeding? Must be the Frost Blast. Must have some sort of bleeding Frost Blast. Frost Blast. These dummies. Brutal. I love the ice command, man. Even though I'm disappointed, that looks like it never does damage. Because it doesn't do damage, and there's no, it's not lightning, it's not frost blast one, it's just frost blast. So it never, as far as I can tell, it's just never going to get better. Oh, wait, what's over here? Do we know what's over here? We've we been over here? Open from the side of the door. Yeah, we need the we need the teleport wherever rune that is. Wherever we get that. Let's hit this button, call the elevator back. And go back up. Back to the ramparts. That has to be a different path to go, right? We've been to the ramparts like three times now. Certainly there's a different way to go. Uh 25. We can get this assassin's dagger. Critical blow when you backstab. Nine. Put that into upgrading our healing. I really like the ability to make more mistakes and not die for it. That seems pretty strong. Oh, we didn't pick up the dagger. Silly me. So way more damage per second. Inflicts cricks. Oh, it's damage times two, but damage received times two. Ooh. I will take it. Looks pretty cool. Are we stabbing? Oh, yeah, we're totally stabbing. Well, you got that little backhanded uh, grip on it. Damage taken times two. I feel like that means we're going to get one shot. Because we take big chunks of damage in this game. We've been taking big hits of damage. So we double that. I feel like we're in risk of getting one shot. So when we get an opportunity for an HP upgrade, we have to take it. Oh, I just hit that man for 506. That feels pretty good, though. <laughs> Those are some big numbers. I like big numbers. Just if we freeze him. Oh my god, we get hit so hard though. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Yo, we have to heal, because if we get hit like that again, we're just gonna die. Ouch, that's brutal. It's exciting though, but brutal. Oh my god. Okay. We're 
fine. We're fine. It just get very easily not fine. Stab him. You should kill enemies so they have a chance to attack. You should have enough damage to do that. Give me an HP upgrade. Could really use an HP. Oh, it's a new Assassin's Dagger. Assassin's Dagger 4. Does less damage, but it's plus one strength, and it doesn't risk us being auto-killed. I do like hitting the enemies for like a thousand damage, but I'm not sure if I'm at the skill level to avoid getting hit reliably enough that I can handle uh, double damage received. Why not just teleport? Dude, I can't. My, I just will not accept the fact that teleporters exist in this game. It's it's not bad. I mean, it's not bad damage, right? Especially if I still get the crits off. Realistically, I was just overkilling dudes prior. Is there a rune in here? Nothing in here? Just empty room? Okay. Excuse me. Hey, strength, more, more strength, what do you know? We should... Okay, I didn't think it was going to open, but just in case we were just barely going to make it, I want to at least give it a try. Because imagine if I went and grabbed this, went back to that time door, and said you missed it by 10 seconds. We have lots of strengths. It's still level 1, but level 3 skills. It's level 1 HP, though. Is the game... Is Am I just taking our HP for granted? Like, are we not... Is it bad luck I'm not getting HP upgrades? Are they just less common? Water slows you down a lot, evidently. Good to know. Now you see, teleport back up. Get it. Did I not go all the way down? What's going on over here? Did I not go all the way down here? Oh, it's the time door, of course. I saw a bunch of money and stuff. I might thought we. Figured it would have gone down there. Nah, no, we just didn't. Couldn't go down there. We weren't fast enough. Aw, oh, excuse Pardon? Luckily, we counterattacked and got most of our HP back. Still didn't feel very good. Nothing in here. Haven't really been using our grenades or Kamehameha. Kamehameha. But our dagger is doing so much damage, not to worry about it. More skills damage? Fine. Anything, anything helps? Like when enemies aren't looking at us and we just delete them? How are you not dead? How are you still not dead? Because I'm turning around as I swing, that's why. The bad habit. That guy politely opened that door instead of stunning him on the door open. There's our button that we're looking for. Open up this door. They have shield man in the back. Not having a range weapon doesn't seem to be that much of a problem. Oh, he froze the water. Chilled the water? I'm not sure. How he would describe that. Okay, I would really like my grenades back up. Alright. Made it just fine. Go back and kill that guy. I don't really want to, though. Like, I'm on a roll here. Health upgrade? Yeah, I've got to take a health upgrade here. Feel way too vulnerable. Damage taken reduces by 10% and drops a bomb when you roll. That's a very small upgrade for a lot of money, I feel like. So I'm not going to take that. Sorry to break your door, Mr. Chef. I appreciate the your services, though. Also, a kebab back there. We're only slightly hurt. So hopefully my hubris... We don't get punished for my hubris, but I don't think we need that kebab. Besides, so maybe we get hit later and we need to go back for it. Seems unlikely. I think we're almost at the end of the level. Dude, dude don't stick on the ladders. I've had this problem in other games too, where I just get stuck on ladders like an idiot. Is 
this the way the way onward? Yeah, Black Bridge. Let's go fight Black Bart over here. Although there might have been... Maybe I should go past the door. Maybe that's where our next rune is. I can't think I've uh, just kept going past that. I'm just so excited to kill this boss. 23 is almost enough for random... It's almost enough for upgrades. Knife Storm. We could take that over the... What, the Frost Blast? It's unlock. It's probably going to be more useful than the Frost Blast against the boss. Just dump our extra in there. Uh, launch the Storm Night Strategy to cause bleed damage, 100% damage on a poison target. Oh, it's a skill, not a weapon. This sort of did fix him explode. 6.2 seconds. Let's take it over the Fire Grenade, too. Oh, okay. I understand that. I get it. I looked at it, I saw a knife. I figured it was like a, a knife. <laughs> I figured it was a throwing knife. Which I guess it is a throwing knife, but it says it's as a skill, not as a weapon. All right, buddy, I got you this time. I got your number this time. Incomplete one. Incomplete one's right. All right, I'll just play. Enough, enough, enough play. We'll just crit him for like a billion damage and then get stuck because I couldn't roll through him for some reason. Okay, we're actually crushing. That feels really good. Oh, it slows him. Okay, he's not frozen, but he still gets slowed. It seems really good, considering... Hey, 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 get out of there with that. Oh, the slow is so strong. Oh my, we're crushing him. <laughs> he's too slow, though. I can't predict the attacks properly. And we got some damage over time. Let's not get cocky, though. And sit in his thorns. All right, we actually—that was—that was embarrassing. So yeah, crowd control actually worked out really, really well there. I thought maybe he'd just be completely immune to freezing, but he wasn't. Not only was he not immune to freezing, he was slowed down. I—are right, we in the next level already, or is this a between area? Five minutes ago, it's a lot of money in there. Like, do we get a between area between the boss, or are we already in the next level? Like, I, okay, we do get a. Do get some respite. Heavy crossbow shoots multiple bolts at once. Sounds fun. Yeah, throwing knife. We already have a throwing knife. Okay. So, I, I'm, what am I looking for? Go upgrade our dagger damage. Yeah, whatever. It's what we're using right now. It'll help out on this run. And we got two more. Pop out. I'm not as. I want a random starter weapon. But then I'm also not too worried about it. Because you, you find new weapons. And the starter, the. Crummy starter weapons, they work for the first floor. Maybe if we're trying to play really, really fast, and then we don't get new items, so we're trying to get those, uh, we don't need to, wow, he actually hit me. We don't need to get dead cells, we're trying to get, I don't know what you guys are, you're scary. What are you doing? What's your attack like? You throw your axe. I'm <laughs> intimidated. I'm not sure how to respond to this. Okay. Well, all right. So it hits you more than once. Good to know. Stab him back. Oh, and also if they die. Okay. Also if they die. Um, these guys are really fast. Fast zombies. So the axe will hit you multiple times. And if they die, they don't catch their axe. It just stays in the air. So I have to be really careful around those guys. So this is where the... So I guess after the first boss, where the difficulty picks up. Oh wait, we can we have ice command. Man. Okay, hurry up, get in there before he finishes that attack. Finish him off. Duck. All right, we gotta be careful on those guys. Definitely take advantage of our freezing though. What is this? Oh, he almost blew me up. I'm not sure how much damage that does, but I assume it's a lot. It's a shot. Everything's on sale. Damage taken reduced by 10, you leave behind toxic gases. Oh, that was a sad upgrade. Ugh, do I want to be a big old baby and take more HP? Or do I want more weapon damage? We aren't getting one shot, but we are out of healing already. Let's take a big old baby. I'll be a big old baby. I'll take a little bit more HP. That doesn't feel good, but it might be the right decision. Especially because we don't have the healing. I think we can get away with less HP once we upgrade our healing flask and can heal more often. 
Let's finish up this level or die. Whichever one comes first. Another door? Is another shop? Or is it something else? It's something else. Is it just like an area? I suppose it's just like an area. Alright, not, not too bad. I'm figuring out their, uh, how they work. Nope. Roll past. Backstab them. I'm liking this back, these backstab crits. Ooh. Where's this lead? Oh, just, oh, no, just into... Into a whole cluster of enemies, I swear. Does he catch it if he's slowed down? I'm, I'm not sure. I don't want to take the chance. Okay. Okay, roll. Roll back again. Okay, took a lot of damage. Actually, we healed off most of that damage. What's this place? Place already been in, looks like. Is this where I came up? I guess that is where I came up. And we could have gone up this direction? Is that where we came in? I think so. There's a lot of doors. I'm getting a little confused. Where are all these doors leading? Oh! Men shooting cannonballs. I assume the cannonballs hurt considerably. Uh, there's stuff up here to look at. I don't have that many cells. I was going to say I don't want to die here, but we really don't have that many cells. I don't think we have picked up any blueprints on this level. That's an elite. Oh, okay, no, just immediately, just immediately kill me. It's great. What? Dude, he, he, oh, he, oh, oh, he's too fast. Oh, he's too fast. He's too good. He's too good. I meant to roll. Oh, we did have a blueprint. I had a spike shield. Uh, I meant to roll, but I either rolled the wrong direction. It didn't read my input. I didn't put the input in properly, most likely. Or I interrupt my roll of attack. Can you interrupt your own rolls? Actually, not sure. Okay, let's try to roll and then immediately deck. Oh, you can interrupt your rolls. Okay, so that's what happened. I interrupted my roll with an attack. Silly me. Anything secret down here before, <laughs> before we leave? It doesn't look like it. Alright, take our pouch of gold, and then we just take off. Yeah, so I guess the, I feel like the upgraded beginner stuff will be more helpful when we're a little bit further than that way when we're, we can just pick up, like, okay, good, I got a decent weapon here, and we can just blitz through. If you don't find anything new, it's not a big deal. I really want some new healing. Like, I feel like that's really what's holding us back, so maybe I should just invest mostly in new healing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Made some progress, killed a new boss, that's exciting. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like, subscribe for more fun, exercise, I'll see you next time.